Hello and welcome to the Physics 1B Labs. Now for the first four weeks of the Physics 1B program, your labs are going to be a little bit different. What you're going to be doing is working in groups of three or four to come up with your own experiment. So this is going to develop your skills in experimental design and also in group work. So how it's going to work is a little like MasterChef. You're going to get a kit which you can use to design an experiment. So you've got a bit of an advantage over the MasterChef contestants in that you can look beforehand in your lab manual about what is contained in each of the kits and you actually get to choose which kit you want. So what will happen is before you come to the lab, there's a pre-work exercise you're going to need to do. And during that, you should look through the contents of each of the kits and think about what you want to do. The pre-work exercise also gives you some hints about how to work effectively in a group. And so select which kit you want and have a think about what you want to do. And then when you get to the lab, the demonstrators will help you get into groups of three or four students who want to do similar things with a similar kit of equipment. In that first lab session, what you're going to do is come up with your experimental design. So you're going to actually design three experiments. You're going to need a basic, a standard and an extended goal. So the basic goal is something that can be easily achieved to check that you can get the measurements that you want. The standard experiment is going to take you most of the time. So in that one, you're going to work out what you need to measure to measure whatever it is you've decided the aim of your experiment is. And then the extended goal, you'll be thinking about how you could apply the results from the standard experiment and take them a bit further. So maybe you can think of some industrial application or maybe you can think of something, if you had millions of dollars, how you would extend this to get even more data and get a really useful result. So in that first week, you'll write down your basic standard and extended goals. You'll then work on them a bit during the following week and hand them to your demonstrator at the start of your second lab session. Your demonstrator will mark these and give you feedback. Now this is useful because it's a chance to get feedback before you have to hand in the final report, which is for quite a few marks. And so I recommend that you put as much detail as you can into this draft of your proposal so that you can get the most out of the feedback from your demonstrator. So the first week will be planning. Possibly you'll do some basic experiments with the equipment if there's time. The next two weeks of the lab, you're going to spend actually doing the experiment. So you'll get the same kit each week. You'll go up to the hatch, hand in your student card and get the box like you do with the other laboratory experiments. And then in the final week, what you're going to be doing is handing in the written report. So you can see how this is going to be marked in your lab manual. There's a very detailed rubric about what needs to be included. But in that final week, you're going to give a presentation to the rest of the class about what you did. So there'll also be a pre-work exercise where you'll get to mark a couple of us giving these presentations to get you thinking about what goes into a good presentation as opposed to a bad presentation. And so the marks for your projects, they'll form 10% of the total course work mark, which is half your lab mark. And half of this will come from your group report and half is going to come from that presentation. You will have a small chance to assign marks differently within your group. There's a form that you'll be handing in saying which per what percentage of the work each person contributed. And that'll be used to slightly moderate those marks. Now, during the projects, there are no catch-up labs. So if you're away, what you need to do is negotiate with your group about what you can do to catch up. So for example, if you know you're going to miss a week, maybe you want to volunteer to do the literature review for the final report to make up for that missed time so that you end up with a fairly equal percentage of the work done by the different members of the group, which is the ideal situation. But this is up to you to negotiate with your group. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the projects and good luck with them. 
please have a think about what you want to do before that first laboratory session.